Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 18th of 2021. Well, it is titled full moonlight. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the full moon and you can see the photographer or a photographer off in the distance there uh, also looking at the moon. Uh, the full moon will rise exactly at the same time as the sun sets. And that's because the full moon is always directly opposite to the sun in the sky. And that is because that is the only way you can get this moon to be fully illuminated at any other position, at least some portion of the illuminated part of the moon would not be visible from Earth. Now, of course, the full moon is generally the brightest phase because we're seeing the most illuminated portion. And that is not always the case because one thing that can occur at full moon is a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes into Earth's shadow and that dims the light that is reaching it never blocks it out completely because even the Earth's shadow has some light in it because of our atmosphere. Now, when is the next eclipse coming up? Well, very soon. And in fact, on Saturday morning, there will be a eclipse, a partial lunar eclipse. So a chance to see part of the moon being eclipsed. And in fact, a good amount of the eclipse would be will be visible. And in fact, this will be very close to being a total lunar eclipse with only a very small fraction, just a couple of percent of the moon not being within the deepest part of the Earth's shadow at the deepest eclipse. And it will be visible from much of the world and the a lunar eclipse is visible any play time. It is nighttime when the eclipse occurs. So in this case, it'll be visible from East Asia and Australia, across North and South America, and parts of Western Europe and the very western tip of Africa. So only the middle Middle East, much of Africa and the western portions of Asia will not be able to see the eclipse this time. Now again, it will not be a total eclipse, total lunar eclipse. So you won't see the deep red blood red moon that we often associate with an eclipse. Uh, we will have another lunar eclipse and in fact, two lunar eclipses coming up next year. So a chance depending on where you are in the world and we'll look at those uh, coming up in uh, in a year a little about a year from now about six months for the first one and then about a year from now for the next one. So we get a partial e lunar eclipse coming up soon and a couple more lunar eclipses that will be visible in 2022. So that was our picture of the day for November 18th of 2021. It was titled full moonlight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.